We're here at this 1859 Danish windmill because of renewable energy and the power of ideas. Join us next on Now You Know. Welcome to where it all starts. We're now entering the very top of the windmill. This is where all the power gets transferred. I'm now standing at the top of the windmill. This giant shaft right here is attached to the windmill out there. And on this shaft is this giant gear. This gear transfers the power 90 degrees down to this gear which is gonna power everything downstairs below us. So I'm coming down from the top level. Now we're on the second level of the windmill. And upstairs, you remember there's that giant shaft? Well, that's this. This giant oak turns in the wind. And when this turns, it turns this giant wheel that's attached to it up here. And when that giant wheel turns, we can engage this wheel by pulling on this shaft. So this is a transmission. We can engage this wheel, which has a rubber on it, like an old tire on it, and that will turn this shaft, which then hoists this rope. We can actually lift things down below with this shaft, with the power of the wind that we get from this transmission. Let's go see what this rope can do down below. I'm now coming down on the next floor. So you remember that giant oak shaft we talked about? That's the same giant oak shaft coming down from, both, from above. It's attached to this gigantic gear. Now if you look all around the gear, you'll see one, two, three, four, five smaller gears attached to huge shafts that go down into the floor below. These shafts, if you can see right here, see my hand? These shafts are not engaged right now to the main shaft, but they can be. You just shift these over and they engage the power and start turning. Let's go see what that does. And remember how above we engaged another wheel to get power? Well, here's another one. Under this giant gear, we have another shaft that we can shift upward to transmit power to this, which turns this, which turns another shaft going down. By the way, remember that giant oak shaft that goes all the way up? Well, this is the very bottom of it. We're now on the third floor of the mill, and this is where all the work gets done. Do you see these four giant stones? These are the millstones. These are where we get the power that get, got taken off up above. So what we do, we take our big bag of grain from the field, and we pour it in this hopper. Remember that rope from up above? Well, here it is here. When you need to hoist things up and down, you can open this trap door and use the power of the wind to do all that lifting for you. Now come with me to see where all the action starts. If you want to capture the wind, you've got to turn your windmill into the wind. To do that, you've got to rotate that entire thing into the wind. To do that, you've got to take this and turn it along here and attach it to these points. So remember how I told you that this is a solar powered machine? Well, that's because the sun heats up the earth, which causes air convection currents. And then the spinning of the earth causes those currents to turn into wind. And that wind is gonna be turning these blades. So it takes two powerful people to run this mill. First of all, you have to turn it into the wind, but then you've got to put sails onto these giant windmill structures. So these are like ladders and you climb up these ladders and you attach canvas sails like on a ship to them. And if it's a windy day, you put a smaller sail on because you don't want this to be blowing that hard. And if it's not that windy, you need to attach a big sail that takes up the entire windmill. Come on down here on the second floor to see where the grain ends up as flour. So this is the chute where the finished flour comes down and gets put into bags. And this is where the bags go out. Let's see where that finished grain gets turned into bread. So come on in and see where the bread is made. 
You would fill up this oven with firewood and burn it for 24 hours to build up enough heat in the stone to cook bread. This is the oven where you bake the bread. The big dark loaves would cook first because that's when the oven was the hottest. And you take them out and you put them here to cool. The beginning of the 20th century, these diesel power generators went in so that they could start operating mills even when the wind wasn't blowing. The Industrial Revolution brought about the ability to make power whenever you wanted it, but at a cost. This machine is run on renewable energy and creates no emissions. This machine is run on renewable energy and creates no emissions. We were able to get here on renewable energy and the power of ideas. We got here on the power of innovation, and it may not be the innovation that you're thinking about. This smartphone allowed me to run Airbnb. Airbnb is that app where you get to rent out houses all around the world. And that didn't always exist. Two guys invented it with the power of ideas. They had this idea that they could rent out their house to people, strangers, who were coming into their city, and it worked. Airbnb allowed us to stay at this 1859 windmill, and you can too. This windmill is supported by people staying here and renting it out. In fact, that's one of the reasons why it's still in existence today is because it takes a lot of money to run it. And in fact, school children come and visit it because of the people who support it. So if you'd like to support it, go to Airbnb and go to Denmark and stay here. Now you know.